Welcome pre-calculus students to the homework help video, page 444, numbers 31 through 81 odd. Let's go ahead and get started with numbers 31 through 41. Um, these are the ones in which you are taking a degree, minute, and second form and converting it to degrees only. All right, there's a couple different ways to do this. First of all, you can take 9 plus, this is 43 minutes, so 43 over 60. Type all this into your calculator and you will get out 9.717 rounded. Another way to do this is type in 9 on your calculator and then hit second apps, option number 1, and this little circle will pop up. Then type in 43 and type hit um, second apps and option number 2 will give you this and then hit enter and you'll get the exact same answer. All right, moving on to number 33. Be careful on number 33 because you see a 35 and then a 50. You're probably assuming that 50 is minutes, but look, it has two slashes, so it is seconds. So the longer way would be 35 plus 50, not over 60. Remember, the seconds goes over 3,600. So 35 plus 50 over 3,600 would give you this answer right here, rounded, 35.01. Or, if you would like, um, you could type 35 into your calculator, then hit second apps, option one, this will pop up, then type in 50, then hit alpha plus sign, and this will pop up, and then go ahead and hit enter, and you'll get the exact same answer, 35.01. Moving on to number 35. You would have 3 degrees and then 2 minutes, so 2 over 60. And of course, if you type that in your calculator and hit enter, you would get 3.03, .03, probably rounded, I'm assuming. Or you could hit 3 and then second apps, option 1, and then type in 2, then second apps, option 2, and this will pop up. Hit enter and you'll get 3.03. <coughs> Number 37. The longer way is 49 plus, then we always put your minutes over 60 plus. We always put your, sorry about that, my computer's messing up there, plus 46. The seconds always go over 3600. And if you'll type all that into your calculator, you should come up with 49.65. Again, I'm, rooming, I'm assuming that's rounded. Or you can do it this way, you can type in 49 and then second apps option one and this will pop up then type in 38 and then second apps option two and this will pop up and then type in 46 and hit alpha plus sign and this will pop up then hit enter and you'll get 49.65 moving on to number 39 um, well we have we have no degrees do you see that so I guess we could say zero if you want to nothing wrong with that so zero degrees plus then my minutes always go over 60, so 15 over 60 plus. My seconds always go over 3,600. And if you type all that into your calculator, you will come up with 0.25. Again, I'm assuming I have an answer key here, so I'm just reading the answers. Um, and by the way, I guess I should have been doing a better job. All of these answers should have degrees. I mean, that's the whole goal is you're writing these numbers with degrees. But anyways, um, I'm assuming most of these are rounded, so 0.25 rounded, or you can simply type 15 into your calculator, hit second apps, option 2, and this will pop up, then type 5 in, hit alpha plus sign, this will pop up, and then hit enter, and you should get 0.25 degrees. All right, moving on to number 41, and that's the last one in this section on this homework assignment. It would be 5 degrees. Then notice it's seconds, so please don't put 33 over 60. We're going to put 33 over 3600. If you type all that into your calculator, you will come up with 5.01. Or a little faster way, you can hit 5, then hit second apps, option 1, and this will pop up. Then type in 33, hit alpha plus sign, and this will pop up. Then hit enter, and you should get the exact same answer, 5.01 degrees. All right, let's continue on now to numbers uh, 43 through 53. And now we're going to take some, des some degrees that are in decimals, and we're going to convert them over to degrees, minutes, and seconds. 
Okay, first of all, you admit, you say, okay, I've got 17 degrees. Um, and then we take the decimal part. I don't care how long the decimal is, you take the entire decimal. In this case, it's 0 0.6. And off to the side, you take 0 0.6 and you always multiply it by 60. And in this case, you get 36. So that tells me I have 36 minutes. Now, if it would have been 36.5, then I take the 0.5 and multiply that by 60, and that would give me my seconds. I'm sure we'll have one like that later. But anyways, the, the longer way is you take the decimal, multiply it by 60, and that gives you your minutes. Another way to do that is simply type in your calculator 17.6, and then hit second apps option 4, and hit enter on option four and this arrow is going to pop up right here by the number and the letters DMS. Hit enter on that and you will get the answer which is 17 uh, degrees and 36 minutes. All right, let's try number 45. Uh, the long way of course would be to take 83 and then take 0 0.025, that's your whole decimal, multiply it by 60. Let me do that very quickly here and you get 1.5 so what I have now is 83 minutes and 1.5 minutes but I don't want any decimals here so now I take my decimal out of my minutes in this case it's 0.5 and you multiply that by 60 and of course 0.5 times 60 would be 30 so now I have 83 and I don't have 1.5 students I just have one okay because you took the 0.5 and multiply it by 60 so you have one minute and then 0.5 times 60 would be 30 seconds. Now, if you don't, that's pretty tough method. If you want to do it the faster way, then simply type into your calculator 83.025, then hit second apps option four, enter, scroll down to option four and hit enter, and this will pop up on your screen, a little arrow here in DMS, hit enter, and you'll get the exact same answer, which is 83 degrees, one minute and 30 seconds. Moving on to number 47, of course, the longer way is to take 11 degrees and then take your point 75 and multiply that by 60. And when you do that, you're going to get 45 exactly with no decimal. So that's your final answer, 45 minutes. Now you could also type in your calculator 11.75 and then hit second apps and then scroll down to option four and hit enter and up on your screen should pop an arrow and the letters DMS hit enter and you'll get this answer right here and that was number 47 moving on to number 49 okay I know I have 47 degrees off to the side I'm going to take point eight two six eight times 60 let me do up my calculator very quickly point eight two six eight times 60 and you will get 49.608 49.608 so now I take the 49 I write that right here for my minutes and then I take 0 .608 <coughs> this part of the decimal times 60 and if you do that you're going to get 36.48 and so instead of writing 36.48, we round to the nearest whole number. So we're going to say 36 seconds. And if you were to put 36.48 seconds, I wouldn't take off for that. It's not a tremendously big deal to me. Now that's kind of a long way. A faster way is to take 47.8268. <coughs> Type that into your calculator just like that. And then hit second apps option four, enter. And up will pop an arrow here with the letters DMS, then hit enter and you should get this right here. Okay, moving on to number 51. Notice we don't have one whole degree, okay? So we don't have, so the answer is gonna be point something here, okay, or, or zero degrees in so many minutes and seconds. So what you do is, I guess if you wanna say 0 0.9, that's fine. So we have zero degrees. You don't have to put that, but if it helps you, that's fine. And we're gonna take the point 0.9 over here and multiply it by 60. And when we do that, we're going to get 54 and so we would have 0 degrees and 54 minutes. Another way to do that is simply just type in the original number which is 0 0.9 and then hit second apps scroll down to option 4 hit enter and up will pop an arrow here with DMS hit enter and you'll get the exact same answer. Number 53 we know we have 39 degrees <coughs> we take our whole decimal, 
0.45 and we multiply it times 60 and if you do that correctly you will get 27 so there's no decimal there so it's just simply 39 degrees and 27 minutes another way to do this is to type into your calculator 39.45 then hit second app scroll down to option option four and hit enter up will pop arrow DMS hit enter and you'll get the exact same answer okay let's continue on now to numbers 55 through 69 numbers 55 through 69 we are going to be finding the trig functions of a given angle and of course we'll use our calculators for this also first of all please make sure you're in the in the degree mode so you will want to push mode and th then look at the third line down and it's going to say radians or degrees make sure degrees is highlighted once it's highlighted hit second quit and come out of that and now we're ready to go if you will type into your calculator cosine of 51 you should get 0.6293 that's all you type you just hit cosine and this pops up and then you type in 51 close the parentheses and hit enter remember students you only use the negative one the second button cosine when you're looking for an angle we're not looking for an angle okay we're finding the cosine of a given angle so we know the angle so we just type the angle in all right let's continue on to number 57 with your calculator you want to hit the tangent button this will pop up with the parentheses then hit four and then hit second apps option one and this will pop up then type in 13 then hit second apps option two and this will pop up and then hit enter and if you do that correctly you will get point oh seven three seven oh seven three seven moving on to 59 now secant this is a little interesting there's no secant button to use so you ask yourself what is the inverse function of secant well it's cosine and we've talked about that so instead of typing secant you're going to type cosine of 38.43 all right now I know that's not the original problem but just bear with me type that in and hit enter on your calculator and you're gonna get this right here your screen should say point seven eight three three six eight one one seven seven then I want you to hit the X to the negative one button that's the inverse button it's the fourth button down on the left side and when you hit that this will pop up it'll say answer to the negative one and then you hit enter on that and when you do that um, hold on one second please when you do that you will get the correct answer which is one point rounded of course it's one point two seven six five one point two seven six five okay moving on to number sixty one well folks you just simply type in cosine of forty point three five and you'll get point seven six two one as long as you're in the degree mode number 63 simply type in sine of 69 and you get 0.9336 type in number 65 or number 65 just simply type in tangent of 85.4 and you will get 12.4288 number 67 cosecant now there is no cosecant button so you want to use the inverse function of cosecant which is sine so type in sine and up pops the parentheses you type in 89.5 close the parentheses and if you do that correctly you'll get this decimal on your screen you get point nine 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 six one nine two three one now because you were not you were not looking for the sine of 89.5 you're looking for the cosecant of 89.5 you then have to take this and invert it so then you hit the x to the negative one button and when you do that up pops answer negative one and then hit enter on that and you will have the correct answer which is 1.0000 and if you want to leave those zeros off that's fine all right, number 69, the last one in this second. We're taking the cotangent of 30 degrees, 25 minutes, and 6 seconds. Well, there's no cotangent button, so you want to type into your calculator what's the inverse function for cotangent. Well, it's tangent. So type in tangent, up pops the parentheses. Type in 30, then you want to hit second apps, option 1, a degree symbol pops up, then type in 25, then second apps, option 2, and this will pop up here. Then type in 6, and then hit alpha plus sign, and this will pop up. 
like that, and then go ahead and hit enter, and you'll get this decimal right here. Now bear with me while I very quickly type that in. And I'm getting this decimal right here, 0.58712671. One three three. Now remember, we were not trying to find the tangent of this angle; it's cotangent. So now we have to take this and flip it or find the inverse. So we type x to the negative one, and when we do that, this is going to pop up on the screen. Answer negative one, and then hit enter, and you should get the right answer, which is one point seven zero three two. All right. Let's continue on now to the last section on your homework which is number 71 through 81, six problems left, in which now, notice students, we're missing the angle. Notice in the last problems, we were given the angle and we were finding this decimal answer. Now, we're given the decimal part right here. We have the decimal part, but they want us to find the angle, so we're kind of going backwards. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a shot. Okay, stu okay, students, here we go. Now we're trying to find this angle right here. So because you're missing an angle, you want to type second and then sign. And if you do that correctly, this will pop up. And then you type in 0.5125. Now as long as you're in the degree mode, if you type this in correctly, then hit enter, you will get out 30.8 degrees. Of course, that's rounded. And that's just where the book is rounded, but the answer would be 30.8 degrees. All right, moving on to 73. Notice we're looking for the angle, so that's when you hit second and then tangent, and up pops tangent to the negative one with the parentheses, and then you type in point uh, two 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 six, and hit enter on that, and you will get 12.5 degrees. 12.5 degrees. All right, moving on to number 75. We're looking for an angle, so whenever you're looking for an angle, you don't just hit sign, you hit second sign, and up pops sign to the negative one like this, and then you type in .9022. If you do that correctly, you will get out the answer uh, for 75, 64.4 degrees, so theta equals 64.4 degrees. All right, moving on to number 77. Notice we're looking for an angle, so you do not type cosine. You type second cosine, and up pops cosine to the negative 1, and then with a, with a parenthesis, and you type in 0.6879, and hit enter, and you should get an answer for theta, and the answer for theta would be 46.5 degrees. 46.5 degrees. Okay, moving on to number 79. Now this is going to be tougher here. The next two are going to be tough, so pay attention. Cotangent of an angle theta. Now you're looking for an angle, so you know you want to use the negative 1 button. However, there is no cotangent button. So what I taught you is, is to rewrite this side here as an inverse. So the inverse of cotangent would be tangent. So instead of putting cotangent, I'm going to put tangent. And I'm allowed to do that. I can change this side to the inverse as long as I change this side to its inverse. And of course, even though you can't see it, this thing's really over 1. You can put any number over 1. So if you flip the right side, you get 1 over 2.127. So what I did there is totally legal. I took the left side, I wrote the inverse for it. I took the right side and wrote the inverse. So now, now that you've written the problem from cotangent to tangent, now you're ready to type into the calculator. So, um, because you're looking for an angle, you don't hit tangent, you hit second tangent, and when you hit second tangent, up pops tangent to the negative one, and then you type in one divided by 2.127, and then hit enter. If you do that correctly, you will see that theta equals 25.2 degrees. 25 point two degrees. Hey, last problem, we're finally done, so good deal. All right, seek it. Now we're looking for an angle, so I wish we had a seek it button that we could type in, but we don't have one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this left side um, in terms of its inverse. So the inverse of secant is cosine, so I'm going to write cosine. Now I'm allowed to change the left side <coughs> or rewrite the left side 
uh, from one form to its inverse as long as I also write the inverse of the other side. Well this is really over 1 even though you can't see it so I'm going to flip that and I get 1 over 1.279 so basically I flipped this side and got this that's the inverse of this I flipped this side and got this and now I'm ready to use my calculators now notice you're looking for an angle whenever you're looking for an angle you do not hit cosine you hit second cosine and up pops cosine to the negative 1 and then you would type in 1 divided by 1.279. Close the parentheses, hit enter, and you come up with theta equaling 38.6 degrees. All right, that's all the problems. I hope this has helped you. Back it up, rewind it, listen to, to as many of these again as you need to, and uh, keep working hard.